Good day, good day everyone and once again we are back together. So looking at that um, electrolytic cell. So if you haven't subscribed, uh, please just make sure you're part of the family. And of course uh, you can benefit from our valuable perks in this case by becoming a member onto this channel. Uh, you can get those uh, NBT videos, uh, you know, that NBT course for those of you that uh, need that and all the other wonderful packs that we have. All right, now we're going to look at the electrolytic cell quickly. Um, so uh, let's dive into it. That's November 2022 in preparation for exam, and I hope that's going well. Right, so they say we've got the diagram below that represents a simplified cell used for, an electro for the electrolysis of concentrated chromium uh, chloride, right? Uh, electrodes R and T are made of carbon. Okay, right. Now I want you to note in this case, uh, that is what is given. So that's the process of electrolysis, right? Okay, so um, they're giving us the net cell reaction there. They say define the term electrolysis. So remember, electrolysis is the process of breaking down compounds and forming new ones by using electrical energy or you, you can say by the by using electrical current. Okay, right. Um, so I'm not going to write that down. Okay, let's go on to the next one. They say the graph below and uh, not drawn to scale represents the changes in the mass of the electrode uh, T during uh, electrolysis, right? So in this case, so definitely we can see that at electrode T, there was a gain in mass there right so uh, so that all uh, that tells you that uh, uh, a reduction was actually uh, taking place uh, on that electrode right so now they say to us calculate uh, write down rather the half reaction that takes place at electrode t now what i want you to note ladies and gents is that right you started with uh, uh, chromium chloride in this case so that means Note that uh, chloride will have a Cl minus, right? So chromium chloride, okay, you can actually look at it as um, when we take our, our, our standard reduction potentials table, right? So that means that you are taking Cr3 plus, okay? And here you've got Cl minus, right? So that means two reactions actually took place, right? The one reaction is where chromium, right? The chromium ion rather, gained electrons, right? So this would be Cr3 plus, it gained electrons, okay? And became chromium, the metal. So that's, I mean, that's reduction that took place there, right? And then the other one is where we took two Cl minus and of course, it's going to undergo oxidation, right? It becomes Cl2, the gas, all right? And in this case, by giving, uh, um, I mean, by giving away two electrons, right? So those are the two half reactions. But in this case, they wanted to know the half reaction that takes place at electrode T. And of course, we know that we are gaining mass at electrode T, right? So you know for sure this is where that chromium is actually made. So this would be for 9.2.1, uh, you've got um, a CR3+, plus, okay? And how do I know it's 3+, plus? in this case, because you had CL3 over there, right? Okay, so that CR3+, plus, plus 3 electrons, that would give us CR, okay? Right, so that's the half reaction. Okay, so they say to us a current of 2.5 MPS uh, passes through the cell for 10 hours, okay? So they want to know the total charge that flows through the, uh, the cell during this time. So what we want to do, ladies and gents, so for 9.2.2, right? We know the current and we know the time. So know in this case that current is the rate of flow of charge, right? So that's charge divided by time. So 
can we calculate the charge definitely that's going to be uh, uh, current multiplied by time in fact let's just substitute so that's going to be 2.5 we want the charge divided by now remember the time must be in seconds in this case uh, so how many hours how many seconds are in an hour right that's 3600 so 60 seconds in one minute but 60 uh, uh, minutes in an hour so that would be 60 times 60 right so that would be the amount of seconds but we've got 10 hours right so that would be multiplied by 10 so that's 10 times 60 times 60 okay right and of course uh, to calculate that charge oh you know, that's going to be a humongous one so that's 10 times 60 times another 60 and you get 36,000 coulombs of charge all right that would have passed through there right so they say to us calculate the value of x okay as shown on the graph now we want to know how much did we gain right what would be in this case the amount of mass that would have been gained in this case um so what we're going to do ladies and gents is we're going to find out in this case that uh, uh the, the mass of chromium that was formed as a result right now note we know that the charge in this case uh so that's 9.2.3 so how is charge related to electrons? So we're going to say, well, we know that the number of electrons would be equal to, right? And why am I looking for electrons? Because we had given three moles of electrons there, right? So we're going to say number of electrons is going to be charge divided by the unit charge of an electron. And please don't mind, I'm just going to take the uh, you know, the positive value here so that we just get the number, right? So that's 36,000 divided by, what's the unit charge of an electron? That's 1.6 times 10 exponent negative 19, right? So that means the number of electrons that are given there, that's 36,000 divided by, we said 1.6 exponent negative 19, right it's that humongous number i'm not going to uh, remove it uh, in this case that's that very big number that we have over there right so that gives us the number of electrons okay uh, that's 2.25 uh, times 10 2.25 uh, times 10 to the power whatever that humongous number is um, i really could not uh, I can't really uh, count the number of zeros and I'm battling to uh, convert this into scientific form on this calculator. Right, now, uh, to the power, whatever that number is, but I'm going to keep it. So that's going to be the number of electrons. Okay, right. Please, you can verify that number for me. But now, please remember, ladies and gents, electrons are particles. So I need to find out what is the number of moles of the electrons. Not the number of electrons, but number of moles. And so how do we do so? We say, well, number uh, of moles of any particle will be that number of particles, right? Divided by what we call Avogadro's uh, constant, Avogadro's number, okay? Uh, I think we are given that number, which is Na, sorry, not uh, uh, not N, N0, right? We're given as Na, you're given uh, at the at, in your formula sheet, right? So that would be 2.25, that number there, that big number that we have, times 10, don't do any, right? And divided by Avogadro's number, that's 6.023 times 10, to the power 23 right so i'm going to take that number and i am going to divide 6 point uh, 6 point 0 23 
uh, exponent 23. Okay, and I get the number of moles of electrons to be 0 0.37, okay? Yeah, let's say 37, yeah, I'm just going to say 0 0.37 moles, okay? So these are the moles, number of moles of electrons. Now, please, I want you to listen carefully. On this reaction, this says for every uh, three moles of electron, electrons rather, I will get one mole of uh, chromium, right? So for every three moles of electrons, I will get one mole of chromium, right? So the question is, if I've got 0 0.37 moles of electrons, how many moles of chromium will I actually have? So we can cross multiply, say number of moles times 3, that's 3n and 0 0.37 times 1, that will be 0 0.37. Remember, you just take the coefficients and not necessarily anything else, right? So I'm going to divide both sides by 3. So the number of moles in this case of chromium uh, would be 0 0.37 divided by 3. So I'm going to keep that number, okay, and say divide that by 3. And I get a number of 0 0.124, or you can say 1 to 5, okay, moles, right? I'm going... All right, and now that we've got the number of moles of uh, chromium, right so now we can say well we can find out what the mass is by taking number of moles is mass divided by molar mass right and we want the mass but in this case we're going to have to uh, uh, you know refer to a uh, periodic table so number of moles would be 0 0.125 right which is equal to the mass divided by now we need to go and check in the periodic table what the molar mass for chromium is okay i've got my periodic table here and the okay let's try and find that okay so uh, you can see there's that number of moles for chromium and uh, that gives me z uh, 52 right so there's chromium at 52 there so that would be divided by 52 so therefore the mass would be, we can multiply those two. Uh, in this case, that would be uh, 0 0.125, okay, multiplied by 52, okay, and that gives me a mass of 6.5 grams, okay? But now this is not the mass X. Remember, the mass X starts from 2.2, and we gained 6.5 grams. So that means that the mass X should be 2.2 plus 6.5. And all I'm going to do here is just simply add 2.2. Uh, um, uh, and so X would actually be 8.7 grams. Of course, um, in this case, that is how we will actually go about uh, that question i hope that uh, that it made sense ladies and gents and that is how the cookie crumbles otherwise from me your favorite uncle will see each other again i wish you all the best for your coming exams all right and please do best uh, represent us well shop shop